Hey guys, welcome to the latest adventure. So last night Owen and I were having a discussion about aerodynamics and I tried to think of a good way to teach him how to do this. So I thought about the best thing to do is maybe we could come up with an experiment where he might learn. So we gotta get a few parts. We're at the store, we're gonna walk in there and get some. Hopefully they have it. And if it does, hopefully Owen will learn something from this experiment. If not, I bet you we'll have fun anyways. So come on, let's go get what we need. So what better way to learn about aerodynamics than rockets? So this should do. Got two rockets, one for each boy. They go pretty high. After that, I may pick up a glider or two, see what happens when we start rocketing uses that too. So looks like we need a couple extra things. We'll get that stuff. Yeah. Those are the big boys. Gonna fight a rocket for that eventually. So, also got one of these. Might be fun to try and experiment with them too. Got uh, our rockets. Got our motors. Got our wadding. Got our plane. Looks like we should be good to go. See how this goes. All right, now we got our scientific experiment supplies. Really, a rocket, some engines, and maybe a little plastic airplane to put uh, another engine on just to show them what happens. So hopefully this will be a good learning experience from the boys. I know I'm gonna have fun. I've always loved playing with rockets. Uh, knowing my boys, they love rockets, so this should be right up their alley. So off to the house. Hey, Max. Someone's happy to see me. Hey, baby. How are you? Truck ride. Wanna go for a truck ride? Let's go. So we're back at the house. Let's uh, go surprise these boys with the uh, science experiment we bought. Yeah. And the dogs met me at the gate, decided they wanted to ride. Mommy said they weren't going to be here until a while. Well, that's because Daddy was picking up a surprise for you. Well, remember last night we were talking about aerodynamics? Yes, the rockets. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see what I got. I think I know what it is. Did you get a couple rockets? Boy, you're just too smart. You remember everything. I don't remember saying I was going to get you a rocket. I said we were going to have a science experiment. Yeah. So you think that's a rocket? Yeah. All right. So Daddy got us a surprise. So we can have a science experiment about learning about... Do you remember? Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. So the first thing we have... It's two real rockets because they are very aerodynamic. Yeah. Okay. How much rockets do they come with? There's two. There's two. But you can reuse them because they shoot up and they come back down. And then... And what else? They got something for the treasure bag. Yummy! Yummy! Pez. Yummy! Yummy! Then you got, you got two. we have rocket motors. So those rocket motors tiny ones and big ones. are going to go in the rocket and, you have a couple and them shoot them up. And you, we, we have a couple of them just in case they break. Well, we have different sizes. And, and the way those are is these are, big, these are the biggest, these are the next biggest, and these are for one of the smaller rockets. Which, and like they you, can launch them at different altitudes. But I also got you a styrofoam airplane that maybe we can put a rocket on to see what a rocket do engine does to just an airplane. Like the, just like the big one. We'll like, see. Like it, the one that you throw? Yeah. The styrofoam airplane. Now, now, I think it's going to come apart, but this is going to be a learning exercise. Yeah. Now, we have to put these together, okay? Yeah. Sound like fun? Yes. Sound like fun? Yes. All right. I want to see. All right, well, we'll put them together. All right, so we built the rockets last night, but we got rained out. So yeah. we're out here today. We got a nice... Day. It's not very yeah. windy. You can see, we're not blowing any wind. Yeah. We got the big rocket on the pad yeah. with its little motor because it goes the shortest. And then we have some yeah, other I test vehicles that, that we may try depending on how the rocket launches go with the big yeah. ones. And this, the, the monster 
truck. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we're going to see what happens when you power up a monster truck. Okay, so we got our ignition system hooked up. We checked the wind. We ready to take it for a launch? Yeah. Three, two, one, ignition. Look at that, we couldn't ask for a better landing right next to us. But we started off with the big rocket because we had a little motor for it. So we were testing our wind. Now we're going to use the little rocket because with its motor it goes yes, higher than no. the big rocket does with the little motor. So, let's see how this goes. Let's... Three, Three two, two, one, one push off. off. Whoa, look how high that one went. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. It's so. right above us. It's going to land right on top of us. I see it. Here it comes. There it goes. I cannot, I can barely see it. I can barely see it when that one blasted off. What do you want to do now? The big rocket and the big engine. You want to do the big rocket and the big engine? Yeah, I want to do the big engine. Okay, the big engine will make it go higher. And, and faster. Will it go louder too? No. Huh? Will it, it go will be really loud. They're the same loudness. When are we going to test the, the rocket on the toys? Well, we can try that. Maybe after this rocket we can. Sure. Five, four, yeah, three, down. two, one, blast off. <laughs> oh. <Where is> it? <laughs> that one might go over the fence. That made the monkey too. Bring it back a little bit. Oh, that parachute one. didn't open all the way. I see it! I see it! it might go in the pond. Uh oh, my dog cows. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> so, we've seen the rockets successfully fly, right? Yeah. Okay, so now this airplane does fly. See? Flies really well. Sort of. Just by throwing it harder. Now we're going to show you what happens when you put a rocket to something that wasn't designed to have a rocket motor to it. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Um, probably just go crazy. I think it's just going to fall apart. Yeah. Because I don't think it's going to be able to handle the rocket. And just go crazy, I think, too. Maybe. So we need something to guide the rocket we up the, the airplane, visitors. up the launch pad. I think you heard talking about yeah, that. Yeah, they got that far. Why are not going that far? Why do you have a straw? Because the straw is going to allow us to launch it. Hey, Cal. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy Cow. Hi, Daddy Cow. Hi, Daddy Cow, Mommy. Yeah, that's Hi, Daddy, daddy Cow, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Back it up. Hi, Hi. Hi Daddy Cow. Oh, he's getting stuff on there. Oh, he's checking it out. It's not food. Not food, Cow. Not food, Cow. Now, my prediction is this is just going to fall apart because yeah. it wasn't engineered to handle this much power. It's just doing this. Probably just. Scott, what's your prediction? I don't think it's going to make it far off the launching pad. No? <laughs> no either. Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh -oh. it broke my nose. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we put a little too much power to the rocket. For the airplane, I mean. But now we got good wings. Right. So, you want to see what happens to the grave digger? Yeah. When you put a motor on a grave digger. At least we still have a hundred of grave diggers, right? Now, grave digger is not aerodynamic at all. Yeah. Grave digger doesn't have wings. Yeah, but we doesn't have fins to keep it going yeah. straight. But we could add these wings. We could. And he weighs about 20 times as much as the rocket. And he weighs about 20 <laughs> times as much as the rocket, so he's heavy. So. So we might need the big rocket for it. Big well, engine. we're going to try the little rocket first for safety. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's just made it to do flips. flips. <laughs> That's what I thought it just was. Just like Grave Digger does at the show. Just like Grave Digger does at the show. <laughs> Part of the problem is we had it too, we had it very high up on it. Maybe we should put it a little bit lower and see what it does. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> that one kind of worked. That was a rocket powered monster truck. No, well, that means that's because that rocket motor is too underpowered for 
A monster the truck. monster truck, because the monster truck weighs too much for it. But maybe we could try to Should we? the big engine. We're going to try to make the cat car fly. All right, so we got the cat car with a little engine. We're going to see if it has enough power to lift it, it up. It I don't even know if it's going to get off the launch pad. Yeah, me either. I don't think it has enough power. Not enough power. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so what did we learn? Um, about aerodynamic stuff. Uh-huh, and then we also learned that just because you give a, something an engine with power doesn't make it go right, does it? Yeah. Yeah, monster truck uh, did a couple backflips, and then when we moved it, it just went forward. Flips. Did it do front flips? Yeah. Oh, okay, front flips. And we only had one cat for us, so yeah. The plane broke. That's okay. It still flies. And it got a little melted. It's not going to fly. Its nose is broken. But that's what we learned is when it's not designed for something, things don't work. So we have to design things for the intended purpose, right? Uh-huh. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you enjoy shooting the rockets? Yes. Did they go real high? Yes. So now that we're melting, we're going to get some drinks of water. And we're going to have some little... Huh? Or Gatorade. Or Gatorade, yeah. I'm on Gatorade. Oh, Brody wants Gatorade. Hope you had fun watching us experiment with the rocket engines today. If you like what you saw, subscribe and have a good day.